I, I guess my most poignant memory is hearing the jail door slam shut. And I was laying there that night. It's a cold cell, uh, thin mat on a metal bunk. And I asked myself, I said, how in the world did this happen? And I cried myself to sleep that night. That was the first night in what would be 20 years in prison for Shannon Dor Sims. He says he got involved with the wrong group of people. These guys were basically living in the streets. And I took them in and I was needing that fraternity at that time. You know, I felt alone, felt like I was facing so much, and these guys came at the perfect time to create it, the perfect storm. During that time when Sims was just 18 years old, he says his parents were struggling with a drug addiction and he had just lost his job. He says just before his crime, his grandmother tried to give him some words of wisdom. She told me, she said, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. She said, but those guys, they're going to get you in trouble. It's found its fulfillment not even a month later. By November of 1995, Sims was sentenced and would spend the next two decades in prison. After I pled guilty, I had one long night of tears and kind of looking out of the window slit at Lexington Road. And I guess I kind of made peace with my situation and said, you know, hey, this is what I have to do, so I'm going to make the best of it. While incarcerated, Sims says he dedicated his life to making the best decisions he could make for himself, having a sense of accountability and helping others. He was also deeply rooted in his Muslim faith. Spirituality definitely plays a major role in, in my success, which I call making it out after 20 years. Um, on the other hand, I did go 20 years without a single disciplinary infraction. In 2015, Sims was released to a transitional center where he was able to start working and saving up to build a life outside of the prison system. He was able to score several jobs later, including the one that he's currently held for two years. When I came again and said, we had one question, I said, when can you start? And I told him like yesterday. And so, so he said, good answer. But I did uh, give a notice to my other job and started working at McLean Southeast, which is where I am today. But that's not all Sims does. He also works with the Athens Clark County Police Department to teach community relations classes to cadets and also serves as their chaplain. My belief is that majority of the clashes that happen between the community and police is because of wrong perception, not bad people, but bad perception. This is my opportunity to contribute to uh, the bettering of perception, and uh, it turned out well. And from there, I was offered the opportunity to become a chaplain with the Athens Clark County Police Department. So I was able to take my experiences and actually contribute to the well-being of the officers here. Sims is also now a car detailing business owner. Although the road has been long for Sims, he says he does not regret any of it. Considering the man that I am today, I said if I had to go through this all over again to become who I am, I said I would do it without hesitation. Cassandra Ortiz for the Georgia Department of Corrections, Beyond the Walls.